Y'all gonna be singing all day, but first we gotta get some photo assignment submissions and go. Shall we begin? Our first submission comes from Armando Di Solo. He shot this with his Sony A77 using a 50 millimeter 1.4. He also let me know that he used two newer TT560 flashes in slave mode and he triggered them with his pop-up flash on the A77. Uh, aesthetically, this is a very pleasing product shot. Uh, if he was looking to go maybe a little bit wider in the background, he could have easily bumped up his exposure compensation and got that same effect. Overall, great submission. Thanks, Armando. Our next mission comes from Madanini Manahar. I hope I said that right. If I not, I, I totally apologize. This is a pretty good example of what most uh, newbie photographers that are first trying their hand at uh, product photography will do. They will try and just blast uh, the item with as much possible light as they can and that generally doesn't work. What you're trying to do is you're trying to create some contrast and not just uh, completely saturated and overexpose it to try and get that whiteness. It's good for the background and the background only if you're using say like a diffuser or something behind your product but to just take a dead on uh, face forward flash and try and make those product shots it's just not gonna work. So I appreciate your uh, submission Marinini and I hope you will continue to uh, improve your skills in product photography. This next shot comes from Kevin Wilson. Um, what we've got here is we've got a product shot that is really, it has all the components to be a good shot, only it's not executed very well. Uh, what we want to do, I'm assuming, is that we want to completely blow out that background and make it a pure white so that maybe we could use it on websites and stuff like that. And that would require a little bit different of a setup. Overall, it's a great start and there is a lot of potential. Actually, I love the subject matter. I would love to be owning that right now. But uh, what we'll do is we will talk about technique in a follow-up episode. Thanks again, Kevin. You are two for two, brother. Our last submission comes in from Brian Liddingham. Not only is this particular product shot aesthetically pleasing, but technically correct in almost every sense. Uh, he has a good sense of uh, uh, space and awareness of aesthetics as far as his background is concerned, but he's also used a piece of glass uh, at the bottom to create that uh, mirrored uh, reflection effect which he's got nice shallow, uh, shallow depth of field he really gives the product a good presentation and that is what product photography is all about it's about presentation and where you plan on applying or putting your products up at if, if it's mainly gonna be websites you got to kind of think about the surrounding elements of the website so again Brian Leadingham you did a fantastic job top submission for this week's photo assignment for those of you that are new to product photography, this is a perfect example of a nice little setup that will help you improve how your photographs look while doing product. This is a typical home setup uh, that I happen to find on the net. Uh, we've got some side lighting, some key lights, and a couple of gobos and a diffuser, perfect. And this is a more professional setup where we've got two large diffusers on both side, uh, soft boxes on either side as well to really help flood that background with light. And when you start using and applying these techniques, you're gonna start creating product uh, photography and shots that look so much better. Like this one uh, is amazing. I absolutely love the uh, shadows and everything. And taking small things from around the house is a perfect way to practice. 
So I want to thank all you guys that actually participated this week. It was really awesome of you. And don't forget, this is all about sharpening skills. So take whatever I've said and apply it and just learn from it. And we'll help make each other better. That's what this is all about. Oh, and I know the video at the beginning. I got my Nikon P600 with some free shit. And you should too. I got my Nikon with some free shit. Some free shit. Some free shit. Yeah, that one, that was mainly, I was really excited. And I wanted to share that excitement with you. I did manage to go ahead and pick up my Nikon D600. I didn't really want to spend the money. I swear, I really didn't. But B&H Photo had such an amazing deal on this thing uh, that I just quite literally couldn't pass it up. Usually a Nikon D600 is going to cost you around $2,100 body only. But this particular package not only had the body, but had a $600 lens, the 24 to 85 millimeter FX lens. So they're $600. And then they gave you a bag, a SD card, a brand new monopod, and a spare battery. All of that plus the body for less than the body all by itself. And I know a lot of people are going to say that it's because of the dust and the oil on the sensor issue. I'm not really worried about it. You know, I've got backups, cameras, and stuff, so that's not a big issue. If it does happen at me, then I guess I'll just be sending it in and getting it cleaned up. No biggie at all, I guess. But if you guys are interested in said deal, I recently heard a rumor that has now been confirmed that you can still pick up this entire package all the way up till December 29th. So I'm going to have the link in the description bar below. Go grab that shiz immediately for sure. And now on to other things. The photography tip this week was originally gonna be on like white balancing and stuff like that, but I've had such an issue trying to record this audio. This entire segment, I've tried to record three different times. And it's such a pain in my butt. I'm not really sure what's going on. It's an audio issue, but that is the focal point now is that you should always, always be prepared. If you're doing this kind of thing for a living, you have to be sure that not only do you have a camera, but you have a backup. If you're planning to do video, you're gonna be doing some audio recording, that not only do you have plenty of SD cards and microphones and, and, and extra cables, you can't hang your entire career on one piece of gear and hope that it works when you get there. Not only should you test before you leave, but you should also test before you start. And if anything goes wrong, make sure you have a backup with you. Uh, my social secretary, also known as my girlfriend, constantly goes through a long list of, do you have extra batteries? Do you have extra SD cards? Do you have all, all your lenses, your flashes, your stands? She goes through that entire list. And it sounds a little moronic sometimes when we're walking out of the house, but it does help me remember. It does, in fact, help me remember. So... I'm grateful for that, and I'd also like for you guys to take that into consideration. I can't tell you the number of times I've gotten on location went, forgot all my memory cards, and have to turn right around, drive all the way back, and go scoop those things up. So, be prepared. Do it. That way you don't have to waste time, money, gas, the whole shebang. This week's photo assignment is gonna be something a little different. So before I get too much further, let me just go ahead and start off by saying that I don't want this episode to go without acknowledging the uh, shooting that happened up in uh, Newton. So I know that it's a little touchy with some folks, but I did wanna go ahead and make sure that the friends and families of any of my viewers that happen to be in that area, that uh, you have my heartfelt condolences and I grieve for you folks. Um, so this week's photo assignment, I'd like for us to do something maybe a little more heartfelt. If we could, let's go ahead and try uh, doing it around a theme of giving thanks. I know it's not really a Christmassy idea, it's not a fun and it's not like overly amazing, but capturing emotion is probably one of my biggest uh, perks in doing this. I really do like to capture candid emotional uh, situations. Uh, it's really powerful for me to see photographs of uh, happiness, joy, grief, sorrow, sadness. Um, but if you would, try out this one. Try capturing 
some level of human thankful emotion and give that a go. I think you'd be quite surprised at how strong and powerful that those images can be. So if you're going to participate this week, which I hope you do, please send all your submissions into the photo video show at gmail.com and also get them in by midnight on Monday. I know it's going to be the 24th. It's going to be Christmas Eve, but if you're planning on participating, um, please try and get them in by then. I may not even release the uh, video on the 24th. I may do it the week after because I got to be honest, I'm probably not going to do jack shit then. So... Try and get them in if you can. If you want to do them early, that's great. If not, I'll go ahead and push it back to the next week. But make sure you get them in by midnight. It's Sunday, 11.59 at night, and then it's midnight on Monday. Get them in by that time. Well, that about wraps this show up. I want to thank everyone for stopping by and participating in uh, the program. I also want to ask you guys a quick question. When you guys are buying gear, do you guys lean more towards the Amazon side or the B&H Photo, or the Adorama, or your local camera store. Uh, which one do you usually like to do? It's a personal question. I'd really like to know. So, thanks again for stopping here. Please be our friends and our pals over on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out, and I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are planning on picking up any Christmas gifts for yourself, please uh, use the Amazon links and the B&H uh, photo links in the bottom. They help fund and help me stay out of corporate landscape world and they help me continue to make these videos for you. So I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas if I don't get a chance to see you again by then. And uh, I hope that everyone does the photo assignment. So see you guys again next time. I'm out.